hello my little things family and friends welcome back to the channel guys happy vlogmas day five guys and today i have like a little fun vlogmas i wanted to show you guys or share with you guys today so come on in come on in welcome to all my subbies i'm so happy to see you guys again so today y'all today like i said we got something fun but first please get into these please get into these what y'all so yesterday i'm sitting here watching all my little friends you know vlogmas is all my fellow creators and what do i come across but miss tish from in the cart was showing these starbucks dupes y'all for a dot a dollar 25 i was like oh my gosh i walked into my dollar tree today and there they were singing get me get me i know i don't need any more cups i know taco patty don't tell me i know y'all look how adorable these are and then there was a beautiful beautiful royal blue but i only went with the red and green because yes y'all we're trying to stick with our christmas theme and the red and the green i know i might pick up the blue one too if i see it again oh my gosh these are cute so i love how they screw on it's like a flat top they're open because i washed them already because today i'm going to be making a little something in it so i rinsed everything out but as you can see look at that top oh y'all this is too cute. I think this is a great little gift idea. Now, what I will say, of course, it's $1.25. Don't go thinking you're going to be able to do 50 million things with this thing. Try not to drop it because it's it's plastic. It's a light plastic. You know, you get what you pay for. But actually, the cuteness of this thing is worth a dollar, more than $1.25. It's just gorgeous. So, like I said, just be careful with them. But I could not. I could not leave these in the store. So... Today, what are we doing with these cups? Well, today, I love around this time. I don't I don't even know if McDonald's has it right now. But every year around this time, they come out with the eggnog shake. We absolutely love it. Um, But maybe four or five years ago, I don't know. It started getting a little too sweet. I don't know. It was the way that McDonald's started making it. I don't know. But not just that. I kind of like to do stuff on my own. Y'all know I'm kind of one of those DIY type of people. If I taste something, I really like it. I'm going to try to figure out a way to make it myself sometimes at home. So this is one of those things. So I was like, it's eggnog shake. How hard can it be? So your girl picked up some eggnog. And do y'all see this? Almond Breeze, y'all. Almond Breeze eggnog. I didn't even know there was an almond milk eggnog. Yes, yes, yes absolutely cannot wait to throw that in there so i got the eggnog of course you're gonna need your ice cream so i picked up just some regular old vanilla ice cream you know we gotta top it with a little whipped cream whoo y'all so this is a fun one and i also like to put in a dash of cinnamon and nutmeg so i'm gonna get my little bullet out so we can get started mixing up our eggnog shakes okay guys i got my little nutmeg so i'm just Got, we got like halfway filled with ice cream. Just going to put a sprinkle of nutmeg in there. Sprinkle of cinnamon in there. Not too much. And then we're going to get our eggnog down in there. Yum, 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 guys. Quick and easy. So today is milk and cookies day milk and cookie day so this is going to be our milk let's get this mixing Ooh, guys all mixed up so we're going to pour this one into our first cup of course green y'all know green is for me <laughs> so we're going to pour in our first one then we're going to blend up the other one because y'all know i have to make one for my daughter <laughs> so here we go shake number one mmm Smells good, guys. And don't leave out that whipped cream, y'all. Pick that up as well. Yum. And then we're going to put our little top on. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. I love this top. And, like, it's just so thin and slimline. Shake number one, y'all. Okay, guys. A shake number two going in the cup. Okay, guys, so now my daughter's is all made. I mean, I just can't get over these cups, y'all, but let's give it a taste. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It is nice. It is creamy. This is the first time I've ever had eggnog or almond nog. This is delicious. And 
like I said, it's called milk and cookies. So y'all, we're going to have a couple of cookies. So I did purchase um, some of those uh, Oreos. Y'all know the, the cute Christmassy Oreos. Y'all with the red. Look at that. Oh, so cute. So we got them here in our cookie jar. And you know, they have different little designs. So I'm going to get a couple cookies for my daughter and a couple for me. Look at this. So this one is the snowman. This one has cute mittens. Oh, if I can turn it around, y'all. Okay. So we're going to have us a couple of cookies and our milk, y'all, our milk shakes. Ooh, I can't wait. Snack time. So right before we enjoy our snack, y'all know we have to do the advent, right? Um, so I'm going to go over and scratch it off to see what number we are on for today. So if you haven't been watching, if you have not seen any of the Vlogmases, one of my advent calendars is one that I based around Grinch. And so I pick a number, I scratch off a number on my advent calendar. There is a correlating fun fact or a trivia question that I have written down in my book. And so we've been doing it every day. I hope you guys have been enjoying some of the fun facts. I'm hoping to get to a trivia question. I haven't got to a quick trivia one yet, but y'all let's check out what we get today. I got to go scratch it off right quick. Okay, guys, I have went and scratched off. We have scratched off fact or did you know question number 11 guys okay so let's go to that fun fact in my book or question or um trivia question and see what it is so 11 says what did grinch fear the most what did Gr grinch fear so please let me know down in the comments what do you think he feared after i get so many comments because you guys know i check your comments i will come in and put what they put down as their answer for that so go ahead let me know what do you think Grinch was afraid of and then I cannot forget my daughter's calendar although we eating cookies so may not do the chocolates today but we're still gonna open it up so today we are on number five and it's right here on the cute little girl so we're gonna press that and so remember this one is about the story of twas the night before Christmas Every time we open up a flap, there is another part of the poem that you read um, and a chocolate. So let's open up number five. So for one, oh, I like this candle. I'm sorry, this chocolate. I didn't told y'all what was on it, but look. Let me see, girl. I can't get the camera angle right, but it's a candle. That's cute. And then it reads, when out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what the matter. Wow, guys. I absolutely love this. To be able to keep reading this all the way up to Christmas is kind of fun. I love that. Okay, guys. So that is our fun part of our video today. Thank you guys for Vlogmas Day number five. I don't know where the little Grinch is. Um, I haven't seen him all day. So y'all let me know if y'all see him because I ain't seen him, y'all. It's been a quite a quiet day. So your girl is going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this cute little recipe and I hope you enjoy like go ahead and make it and let me know if you guys like it. If you even drink eggnog milkshakes, don't forget to comment your answer like on the video. Okay, guys, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Happy Vlogmas day five.